It's been a little over three months since Nokia released its flagship Windows Phone 8 device for the United States, so let's see how it's holding up. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our durability report for the Nokia Lumia 920. Now, like Brandon Miniman, I don't believe in cases. I think they obscure the beauty of a phone's design, and I think they bulk it up more often than not, so I generally don't use them. Of course, there's a price to pay for that in the way of scratches, dings, and just ask Joe Levi and his poor Nexus 4, total destruction. So after three months of usage as my daily driver without a case, how is my Nokia Lumia 920 holding up? Let's see. So let's take a look at both sides of the phone to most thoroughly answer this question. From a distance, and on the camera view you're seeing here, my 920 looks to be in pretty excellent shape. But once you get close, you can see some telltale scratches here on the display. Now this is Gorilla Glass 2, which is supposed to be 20% stronger than Gorilla Glass 1, so what's the deal? Should I be angry here? Well, one possible explanation is that the glass itself isn't scratched, but rather it's the oleophobic anti-oil coating on top of the glass that's showing wear. That sounds logical, but the end result is the same. The display looks beat up now. The more interesting thing about the display scratches is that they're so small. Remember, this is my phone. I was there when these scratches developed, and we're not talking about regular wear and tear here. In each case, the phone slammed down face first on a hardwood floor from about waist height. Bam! That would probably have shattered the screen on another device, but even with all 185 grams of the Lumia 920 crashing to the floor, the display held up with only just a few little scratches. That's impressive. Now let's take a look at the back. Now originally I wanted a matte finish 920. I was wary of getting a glossy finish Lumia because I didn't want scratches to show as easily, but I didn't have a choice on launch day. It turns out I didn't need to worry. While the Lumia 920's casing does show scratches if you look closely enough, unless you're getting just the right angle on the light, the white casing here does an excellent job of hiding its scuffs and scratches, despite its glossy finish. Obviously, your results are going to vary depending on what color and type of Lumia you buy. Also, the soft metal of the Lumia 900's camera bezel has been replaced by a harder material on the 920. That means it's not as comically scratched up as the 900's was after just a few days. See episode 1 of Pocket Now's After the Buzz series to see what I mean. But it does still show some scratching. Considering the device rests right on its center line when it's on a tabletop, I guess that's unavoidable. Fortunately, these scratches are masked by the bezel's gloss as well. Now, if these blemishes came about despite my babying, I'd be very angry with Nokia. But in reality, I've beaten this phone up pretty senseless due to careless drops, and it's held up much better than other devices I've owned, despite its fancy optically stabilized camera module, which you might think was prone to damage from drops. It's not. Like we've said before, the Lumia 920 might be thick and heavy, but there's a reason for it. It's a tank in the best sense of the word. Stay tuned for our full After the Buzz treatment on the Nokia Lumia 920, as well as durability reports from other devices coming soon, and follow us in the links in the description so you don't miss it. I'm Michael Fisher. This is Pocket Now. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.